Stuttering Toy Nerd here with a rare Mighty Morphin Power Rangers review. Uh, when I say rare, I mean in the United States rare. This, these two figures that I'm about to review are part of two series of lines that were never released in the U.S. Never, ever, ever released here in the U.S. And here they are. Uh, die cast a uh, metal red ranger with light up belt and uh, still mint in the package and no I'm not taking it out articulated arms and legs power rangers uh, featuring uh, Tommy the Green Ranger now of course what makes these figures so rare is they were only released in certain parts of Europe they were never released in the United States. And uh, Red Ranger itself was actually released as a Chogo Kin figure of the Koro Sentai Jew Ranger series in 1992 from Bandai of America. As you can see, it's got the uh, gold bands on the arms in vacuum metalized plastic. It's got stickers of the... Uh, um, you know, the red diamond pattern. It's got two weapons. Another notable reason is the uh, Blade Blaster in a Blade uh, Sword mode. These were never released in the U.S. and still haven't to this very day. There has never been a Western release of the Blade Blaster in Sword mode. It also has the uh, Blade Blaster in a uh, gun mode. And uh, this little uh, back piece would actually plug right into the back here. And it's only the only reason for this inclusion is because it was in the original Japanese release. What would happen is you would have three two other figures uh, the Blue Ranger, the Black Ranger, and then they had pegs as well and the girls, Trini, and uh, Yellow Ranger, and Pink Ranger would plug in, into the top and they would actually form the uh, pyramid uh, formation, triangle formation, whatever they called it Now, this thing is heavy. It is probably about two to three pounds. The upper legs, the torso, is all die cast metal. Only the arms and the legs below the knee and the head are plastic. Oh, yeah, and the holster. It's also got this little neat feature. It's got a little red button here that you press, and it lights up. As you can see here, it lights up. Now, the batteries are not exchangeable, but the little, uh, little instruction sheet says that uh, it's good for about 10, uh, 30,000 times for a duration of 1 to 2 seconds. When I bought this second hand, but I was told it was only used for display. It was never used, and I've only pressed the button about two or three times. So I say it's probably got about mm, about 20 to maybe 25,000 lights left in it. So this thing's going to last a long time unless the battery blood busts. The only thing that differs it from an actual Kuro Sentai Juranger product is uh, the arms came from different molds. These hands never had movable fingers and they certainly don't help when you're trying to put the gun in his hand it doesn't want to fit per pop properly and the sculpt of the face I never liked the sculpt of the face I don't think they've ever really done a very good likeness on Red Ranger it looks a little too happy just in my opinion of course it comes with a box Belt buckle lights up, collect all the Power Rangers figures. Only three 
of these guys were ever released. And these, of course, are the original Japanese artwork. The other one is Articulated Power Ranger Tommy. Now, this one, I guess you could say, could be the holy grail of all Power Ranger items seeked by American collectors that were exclusive to the market because we never had Tommy released in this 4.5 inch in the United States. We had all five the black, blue, and red ranger for the Battle Bike assortment, and then the other two, Trini and Kimberly, for the uh, Thunder Bike assortment. But we never did have Tommy released. So, to be amazed to, to find this figure in uh, released is just a thrill. Not too many people know about these, and when they when they do show up on eBay, which is pretty freaking rare, they can go to about 50 to about 90 bucks. I got this one for about 30 and it was a bidding war. It also comes with his signature weapon, the Dragon Dagger, along with the uh, Power Gun. And like the Battle Bike figures, it has articulation in the shoulders, swivel arms, bends at the elbows, Bends at the hips and the knees bend along with the head. That's about it. Another thing that was pretty cool is it comes with each signature weapon form, make the super weapon for all the Power Ranger characters' weapons. Basically, you construct a power blaster. And the weapons used for the power blaster, might I add, were the same ones that you see in the commercial or the promotional material for the Automorphin figures. Those are the exact same weapons used. They were altered from that state so they could fit the weapons, I mean, the hands of the Automorphin figures when they decided to put pegs in the hands. As you can see, there's no pegs in these hands. So, that is about it. For my Mighty Morphin Power Ranger European exclusive releases, these are the only two I have, so don't be requesting any more of these. I doubt I'll be able to get any more. I'm actively searching, though. So, uh, yeah, that's my review on these, and uh, I will be back with a, another review next week. So, until next time, I will uh, catch you all later.